Hey Swing Trading family, this is Super Swing Trader. I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to take a look at some charts and see where we can identify supply and demand zones and trade it for income. Before I do, if you're new to this channel, here I talk about swing trading using the rules of supply and demand and technical analysis to trade with the big banks, hedge fund managers, and professional traders, and not against them. If that's something you're interested in, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. Also, drop a comment below. Let me know have you guys placed any trades and have you made any money with swing trading using supply and demand yet? Comment below yes if you have and no if you haven't. I really appreciate your comments because it helps me tailor my content to best serve you. Apart from that, let's get right to evaluating the charts. Okay, today let's take a look at the US dollar versus Japanese yen forex pair. On the monthly, this is the monthly chart on the upper right. On the lower right, there's a weekly chart every candle is one week and on the daily on the left here every candle is one day so let's do a top-down analysis first on the monthly chart we see there's demand here right here and price rel price dropped and touched it almost penetrated it but it decided to go up and this level held um, see there's a bigger and stronger demand zone down here but we don't know it's gonna take a while for price to get down there so we're not too worried about it yet but we see only upside to this stock it's you can see it drop made huge drops here and then it rallied and then it's kind of consolidating a little bit here and then tried to rally but then so then price dropped down here to this demand zone and then it rallied again but then as you can see it's making a huge bearish candle here which is not good which means that it is more than likely could penetrate this demand zone here and go down to this lower demand zone that's much stronger you can see the candles are so strong so big and wide and strong many many three months of, of pure rallying so if price drops down there to those unfilled orders we could see it rally again and that's where we would pr put our buy orders at if everything is still the same and market condition is moving down there okay so on the weekly we have demand down here There's a huge drop. This must have been scary when it was live, but there was a huge drop down here and the price rallied back up again. And then now current price action, it's created a supply zone here on the wiggly ch chart. So it, it made a drop, base drop, and then it also made another supply zone here. It couldn't retrace to this upper one, but then it's so strong. The selling pressure is so strong that it just made a new um, supply zone here. Now on the week on the daily chart, we see that there's a huge red drop, two two days worth of huge drops. So it created this supply zone here. Now put this on your watch list because if price reaches up here within the next week, this could be a great opportunity to go short on US dollar versus the Japanese yen. Okay, and that's all I have guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and also click that little bell icon. Then that way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching.